go. Idaho put in place the move over law, and still today, drivers aren't following it. This violation is putting lives at risk. Local News 8's Hannah Miller joining us in the studio. Uh, Hannah spoke to a local family who knows firsthand the dangers when somebody does not get over. That's right. Every tow truck driver I talk to says when you go out on a call, you just hope you're going to make it back to family. One driver from right here in southeastern Idaho didn't make it home this year. Excelled at everything that he did. Had to be the best at everything that he did. Three years ago today, Shawnee and Shelley went out on a call. A driver was intoxicated or, or busy doing something else, didn't see him, and knocked him out of his boots, smacked him and shot him 60, 70 feet. Traffic cones were out and lights were on. But it was a situation where he, he had that trust that nobody was going to be there. And so he walked around carelessly because there's cones and everything, and that guy went down in the ditch around our barricade and 70 miles an hour through it. And just kept going. He hit him and kept going. And that's the hard part. Two weeks later, Sean was walking out of the hospital ready to go back to work. But this February, a second tow trucking incident killed him. How can this be happening again? Yeah, I thought this was a dream. I get nervous all the time. I mean, when you're on the side of the highway and you've got cars that won't move over, especially when it's the state law that you've got to move over for emergency vehicles. Idaho law states that an authorized emergency vehicle does include tow trucks and wreckers in the process of recovering a vehicle. And when approaching one of these vehicles, drivers are required to slow down and move into the other lane. Most people don't care. ISP is cracking down on those who violate the move over law. If you fail to move over, you could be facing an $85 fine or worse, cost someone their life. In the studio, I'm Hannah Miller. It's about the saddest story I've ever heard. Yeah. Gets hit, recovers, gets hit again and dies. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's awful. All right, thanks, Anna. Uh, Sean Eaton will be included on the wall of the fallen at the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame and Museum.